Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nasdaq with Arshia, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about NNDM or Nano Dimension Stock and their financial reports because they finally announced it. Yay! So without further ado, before we begin, I want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and I highly suggest you do your own research and own due diligence before taking part in any investment scheme. Let's get to it. So first we're going to be going over Nano Dimensions financial reports and then we're going to be going over their some of the questions that were asked to their CEO during their conference call at 9 a.m. on March 11th, 2021 at the time of recording. So first let's start off with the overview of a stock. So we're starting off with the overview. So Nano Dimension LTD, it's a pretty famous stock, pretty well-known stock, currently trading at $11.10. Today it's up 18.34%. And the interview was quite well, it went quite well in the stock at the market beginning. It increased about $3 from 9.30 to now as of right now. And I'm out after hours and now we're going to be going over their earnings report their fourth quarter and full year 2020 financial results so first let's start off with they report revenues of 1.97 for the fourth quarter of 2020 1.97 million and 3.399 for the full year of 2020 and that's because of COVID-19. And if you scroll down here, they go more in depth about the losses of COVID-19 and their R&D expenses. But due to the time, the time shortage, we don't have, I'm not gonna go be going over that. But they ended 2020 with a strong balance sheet and 671 million cash and bank deposits, thanks to the equity offerings that they concluded during the year. And they also strengthen it even more to the balance of 1.5 billion, which is good because before they had 3.4 million of revenue. So their their revenue increased drastically. Their corporate updates are during 2020, Nano Dimension raised a total gross proceeds of 710 million in public equity offerings. The revenues for the year ended December 31st, 2020 and were affected by the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic's global effects, many entities held off on, on capital expenses. Thus, the company witnessed a significant decrease in its revenues during 2020. And we went over the fourth quarter financial results of the revenue and they also go on the balance sheet highlights that cash and bank deposits totaled 670.934 million as of December 31st, 2020, compared to 3.894 million on December 31st, 2019. The increase compared to December 31st, 2019, mainly reflects proceeds received from the sale of American depository shares representing the company's ordinary shares during 2020, less cash used in operations during the year ended December 31st, 2020. In January and February 2021, Nano Dimension announced the closings of two public offerings of American depository shares with total gross proceeds of $833 million, and shareholders' equity totaled $667.116 million as of December 31st, 2020, compared to 11 million point six zero two as of December 31st, 2019. So I think that's pretty good. Overall, they're doing a great job of growing the company. And there is conference call I'm in conference call information down here, a little bit about Nano Dimension. And Nano Dimension basically does does 3D printing machines, they sell 3D printing machines, 
And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like a full analysis on the stock. I will be really happy to do it. And now let's go over some of the questions that were asked during the conference call at 9 o'clock a.m. in the morning. So the first, the media asked them, the, and the, company, the company's directors asked them, asked the CEO, they asked him, do we have enough cash in terms of to acquire another company? He said yes, and he didn't really elaborate on that, but he said that we have enough cash that we, we didn't need any more, and we could acquire another company. Next, he, uh, he was asked the question, can you provide revenue guidance for 2021? Like, can you give us a prediction for what your company's revenue will be like in 2021? Again, he didn't elaborate on this at all in the beginning. He just answered questions with a yes or no. And this, he, to this, he said no. But in the third question, he was asked is, are you working with major auto manufacturers? He said yes, that they are working with major auto manufacturers and supplying their engineers with 3D printing machines, but they can't, dis they can't disclose that now and they will announce them in the future. And I really hope that they will because that, will, that will be huge for the company and it will probably boost their shares, give their shares a bit of boost. And also, he was asked this question. I've been wondering this question for a long time now. It, it goes like this. Will the pandemic like make the, make the earnings better since it's going away? Will that make better revenue for their company? And he says the virus is only getting worse. That's from his point of view. That's what he's saying. He says that the virus is only getting worse and that he says that the Europe shut down, U.S. is kind of similar, and they're, they can't really give any future guidance on 2021 as to how it will go because there's a lot of disruption and they won't really be able to tell. Another question that was asked to the CEO is that will you be buying any companies? Will you be acquiring any companies? He said that he will make the company buy European companies for the manufacturing side, but other than that, not really. And if he, even if he was, he would be doing, come up, buying companies for acquisition. And another question that he was asked was, wouldn't the machines sell better due to the, due to the pandemic and the manufacturing supply chain issues? He actually said no. Because this is really for early adopters, like engineers at GMC and Cadillac, and not on like a manufacturing scale. They don't really produce their 3D printing machines on a really big manufacturing scale. They do it for about engineers and other than that, like tech engineers at GMC and Cadillac. So, for example, they won't be selling like thousands of 3D printing machines to GMC. They'll only be selling them 300 because they have a lot less engineers, right? This is like more from R&D and not on a manufacturing scale. And yet another question that he was asked, this is the last question that he was asked. He was asked that Warren Buffet always talks about how it is important to buy a good company for acquisition. And will you be buying a percentage in a company or will you be acquiring the entire 100% of the company? He says we will be acquiring the entire 100% company if we decide to acquire a company. And we would not hold a share. We would just acquire it. And in conclusion, I think that Nano Dimension is a good hold. I'll probably, I'll probably invest like 5 to 10 shares in it, see, just play around with it, see how it goes. Because it's not really on a manufacturing scale, but I think that things could get bigger if they announce their auto companies that they're working with. But I would still hold it, like pass maybe 10 20 even $30 on it. So that's good. But again, I could be completely wrong. Please do your own due diligence and research before taking part 
in any investment scheme. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found this information helpful, please give a like and a subscribe. See you later!